This is breaking news. Latest crop of glocalized K-pop groups off to successful start, but will they last? Clear skies today. Conditions tomorrow are unpredictable. This is the forecast for the hot topic in the K-pop industry these days. Localized K-pop groups. While major entertainment management firms have successfully unveiled localized K-pop groups, critics say it's too early for anyone to be resting on their laurels. The marketing strategy for localized K-pop groups took off around 2020. Firms judged that the growth potential for Korean groups targeting a Korean audience had reached its limit. They first targeted Japan, where K-pop is already popular. JYP's Nizu and Misamo are considered some of Japan's top idol groups today. The same goes for Hybes and Team, and Joe One and I and I, two groups managed by Lapone Entertainment, a joint venture between South Korea's CJENM and Japan's Yoshimoto Kogyo. Since then, companies have turned their attention toward the Anglosphere. Within the past few years, HYBE, SM, and JYP have all formulated idol groups that target English-speaking countries. With the exception of Kaylee, who is a dual citizen of both South Korea and the US, all members of JYP's Gicha are either American or Canadian nationals. Response from the local market has been good. I.O. Universe, their pre-debut single, made it to the top of YouTube's trending worldwide list. Grammy.com put Vusha on its list of 25 artists to watch in 2024. Katsai, the hype group that debuted in June of this year, is almost entirely non-Korean, with the exception of Yuche. The group rose to stardom through the Netflix docuseries Pop Star Academy, K A T E Y. Their second single, released this past July, was ranked no. 119 on the Billboard 200 chart. The song also made it to no. 58 on the Daily Top Songs global list compiled by Spotify, the world's largest music platform. Cat Size Song Flame will be featured in the soundtrack of Gentry Cho vs. The Underwood an Anon series that will be released on Netflix on December 5. Katsai's success is incredibly meaningful, as it defied the skepticism around localized K-pop groups that target the American market, said pop music critic Kim Doohyun. SM Entertainment is preparing to debut one of its boy bands in the UK. Dear Alice is a joint project by SM and Kakao Entertainment America Corp an American company launched by SM and its parent company, Kako Entertainment, and UK entertainment company Moon and Back. Although they haven't officially debuted, the soundtrack of Made in Korea, the K-pop experience, the six-part BBC series that documents Dear Alice's formation and growth, hit no. One on the UK's official soundtrack albums chart. It is a fact that localized groups that target the Anglosphere have gotten off to a good start. Yet experts say that there are hurdles to overcome if these groups are to sustain their popularity. Some groups are seeing success, but I wouldn't say the response has been explosive, said Kim Doohyun. Just because there aren't any Korean members doesn't mean the group is localized. You need to consistently create content that suits the local market, Kim added. Taking on local artists on their own turf is no easy task. Rather, it looks like these groups need to increase their focus on the Korean market and garner popularity among Korean audiences. This would allow a reverse export strategy to be successful, said music critic Lim Hee-yun.